Hey, I'm Andre from bootstrapiers.com. Welcome to my bootstrap tutorial. Today you will learn how to build a bootstrap 4 multi-select dropdown quickly. It will be an HTML select element, but it will behave and look like a bootstrap dropdown with a possibility to select multiple options. So let's get started. We will need a basic starting bootstrap HTML template. I have it already here. It is a basic HTML document with a bootstrap CSS included in the head element and jQuery and the bootstrap bundle just before the closing body tag. I'll add just a bootstrap container for a better visual layout and a form element. For the multi-select dropdown, we will use a jQuery plugin called Bootstrap Select. You, you can find a link to its website in the video description below. To include it into our HTML document, we will need to link to its JavaScript and CSS components in our HTML source code. The easiest way is to link to the project's CDN repositories. So, I'll copy it into our HTML document. The CSS part goes again to the head element and the JavaScript file will go just in front of the body closing tag. Now we're all set and we can finally create our multi-select. First, I'll create an ordinary HTML select with a few options. Let's say we want to ask the visitor where he or she wants to travel next year. So, I'll create a label for an element with the ID travel. Where do you want to travel next year? Then, there's the select element. Select name travel. To enable the selection of multiple options, we will also need to add a multiple attribute and I will add the options. Let's add some European countries. For example, Czechia, Germany, France, Spain, Slovakia. Cool. Now, all we need to do is to init the bootstrap select. There are multiple ways to do this and we will choose the most convenient one. We will use auto init by a class name. This means that if you add a select picker class to any of your select elements, bootstrap select will automatically init on that element. So let's add the class select picker to our travel select. The last thing that we shouldn't forget, as I did, is to add the multiple attribute. And that's it. Everything should be working nicely now and we should be good to go. Let's have a look at the result. As you can see, the select behaves now as a bootstrap dropdown and allows your users to choose multiple options. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Also, if you like bootstrap, make sure to check out my free and premium bootstrap themes on bootstrapiers.com. Also, you might like my collection of bootstrap snippets, useful bits of codes that include templates for forms, whole pages and special elements like timeline and so on. That's really it for now, take care and thank you for watching.